So you get such a significant advantage that you can chill. This is why you should be using cash drops for the boss balloons. Hello gamers, my name is KK and today I will demonstrate to you the significant exploit that Ninja Kiwi intentionally included in the game called cash drops. Cash drops are very overpowered and it's not big surprise that Ninja Kiwi banned them in the ranked runs. However, we can easily do the elite leech unranked with using cash drops, with using farmers, robo, uh, monkeys, etc and we will be doing just that. So I will show you today how to use the cash drops and the significant edge you're getting with using even one or two cash drops in the very early game. So let's begin. Right now on the screen you are... No, 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 no. First, one more thing. Subscribe freaking now and press the bell notifications because why freaking not? We're posting amazing content. Okay, now we can really begin. Do you wanna use cash drops? only in early game yes you heard me right only so round one round two maybe round three if you are playing on impoppable round six this is the earliest uh as early as you can because you get the significant advantage with the compound interest so basically look with one cash drop you are getting more farms early and the farms create the per round income that you don't possess until like probably round 8 or so in the regular game. With, with, by round 8 you can afford 200 farm. Uh, which is alright, it's an ideal but alright. Now, uh, with the cash drops you can increase this amount significantly. So, first to sum up, without any cash drops etc I got 5 marketplaces uh, by round 40 and I will be using exactly the same strategy uh, in all runs that I will show you today. So Soda, free Dark Monkey and no defenses, like literally no, because uh, we cannot do any other strategy. This is the best strategy, uh, the cheapest one and we are investing every penny we got into more farms. What you can see clearly right now is with only one cash drop, instead of one two, two, zero, two, zero, zero farm, I get two of them. And this is the setup you are looking at. So we get plus 160 bucks more per round income, which is like one third, like plus 30% more in the very early game. And since you get the this advantage early, it compounds into more and more and more money. The good thing is that you actually get, not only you get more per round, but you can afford the other farms earlier. Thus, you're increasing your overall income more and your per round income is also much greater if you did not use the cash drops. So this is the power. If you randomly drop the cash drop like in round 70 or so, it's worthless. It's just 2,500. But here is the completely different story. I will also speak briefly about why am I using marketplaces. Uh, for a leech, you wanna use marketplaces because they sell for more. We will be using the marketplace plus favored trade strategy. As you can see, I'm placing the boat, and the boat with this boat you won't have as many of the farms in range as you possibly can because. Every farm and every tower in range of this guy sells for more. So, as you can see, I sold all I needed. I afforded the perma spike and I even bought the village with the alchemist. This is gonna be the speed strategy where we almost insta kill the leech. But I decided to place this time, I decided to place the perma spike a little bit. Uh, further to, to the end because uh, we, need, we need more time to actually pop, pop the leech and produce enough spikes. And as you can see, boom, we killed it by around 42, which is pretty decent. And now, the final version with two cash drops. So, with this version, we have two 200 farms very early on, and let's see how many farms can I afford by round 8. The last time we had two of them, here we have freaking four two zero zeros and this is money look at this now 
How you it's you don't need any significant math to realize that this is twice as good and it's like four times as good as the no cash drop strategy. Uh, you are just using two cash drops. Uh, l just reminding you, only two, and with just two cash drops, you get such a significant advantage that you can chill. With this, you are getting more money than you would get otherwise with using Benjamin. And if I were to compare like the cash drop being to Benjamin strategies, I would say one cash drop equals to Benjamin uh, strategy for the leech. Two cash drops is like using three Benjamins and you get them in the very early rounds. <laughs> So it's completely broken. Now, by round 26, I already afforded like four marketplaces. I afford fifth one. And so right now we have like, uh, needless to say, like three times as much income as we had initially. And it's all because I invested into the cash drops very early on and I bought the farms so that we can increase our per round income. And now look at the amount. Look at this incre incredible amount. So we have, let me count... 6 plus 3 plus 2. So we have 11 market places. And I also place the favorite trades. This time, uh, also, you always want to buy favorite trades because you sell uh, stuff for more. Uh, never uh, sell the stuff without it. Now, I got the Perma Spike, I got the Alchemist, and the Jungle Drums Village. Um, this, I got it a bit too late, but uh, also you can observe a very funny bug. So, as, as you can see on the screen, Leech just disappeared. Uh, Ninja KB fixed it. I don't know how did it happen, whatever, but it's very good for our demonstration purposes. So, you can see the pile of Perma Spikes is kind of fading but what i did is i changed the targeting priority of spike factory on smart and it manually targeted the leech and we killed the guy even still and we also had sixteen thousand dollars in the bank and two extra or no, no no not two three extra marketplaces which were standing on our map what you would do ordinarily is you would sell these marketplaces and go straight into the BRF and this will ensure your powerful economy with which you can easily handle this leech. Okay guys, press like or dislike button right now depending on what you think about this video. Tell me your opinion on cash dropping. Do you think it's cheating or do you think it's completely viable strategy and everyone should be using them once in a while. See ya in the next one!